Hi, man. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Awesome. Okay, man, we're going to go carry on with the um, ILTS 15, the test two speaking. We did last time about the languages. How many languages can you speak? How useful will English be in your future? What do you remember about learning languages at school? What do you think would be the hardest language for you to learn? And then we spoke about a website. We did part one and two. So today we'll do part three. But first I wanna see if you can remember part one and two. Okay. Um, let's have a look at part one's questions. Uh, how useful will English be in your future? How useful will English be in your future? Number two, part one, sent, uh, question two. In my opinion, I think English is the most popular spoken language around the world. And so I think um, English is English, uh, English will be very useful for my future. Uh, it it helps me to get uh, get more opportunities to study abroad or communicate with other foreigner friends, and I can read some news or book uh, that I want to read. Okay, and what do you think is the hardest language to learn? Mm, I think it's Chinese. Why? Because, uh, because it has many types of structure and the uh, word uh, to remember. And it and and Chinese include a lot include a uh, a lot of characters uh, so mm -hmm. it's hard for me to remember good how many languages can you speak i can speak two types of language uh, the first is my vietnamese because it's my mother tongue um, the, and i study english as my foreign language I learned it at school with a native teacher. Good. Uh, what do you remember about learning languages at school? Mm, I don't enjoy the lesson much at school, but I, uh, I study some skill skill and mm -hmm. structure to to use to use English. Um, okay, tell me about the website. Uh, part two. I'm gonna read to you what we did last time. Let me just find it. Nowadays, there are a lot of websites on the internet, but people don't know what website is reliable uh, to buy. Uh, and now, I think there are many people who using the internet to buy things mm -hmm. uh, I will talk about a master and uh, it's either largest online retailer mm -hmm. um, include some service and sell sell something include retailer. some Sorry, I didn't hear your some, last sentence. Include some needs for people life. Include some? Something. 
something. Mm, okay, say that sentence again. What are you trying to say there? Amazon is a largest Amazon. online retailer. Yes. Is include a lot of service and buy buy things or uh, e, e electronic book readers. Okay, yes. Okay, and I usually buy some um, I, I usually buy something for my school work. Um, mm -hmm. It does take me about about four to five minutes to finish to finish a buying and paying for it. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, in short, I really like Amazon. Uh, because a very good service and allow people to 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 write their comment mm -hmm. beyond their product. Okay, good, very good. I want you to review it again. Okay. Um, I'm going. I want you to review it again and just make sure you know what you are saying there. So I'm going to read it for you. What we've done. Um, just see here where it is. Uh, okay, I can just type it for you. Okay, here. Okay, let me read it for you. No doubt there are so many websites on the internet, but choosing one of them can be a but tricky since we would never know if they are really much reliable or trustworthy, except of course, if we are talking about Amazon. Now, I think that there are a few people using the internet to buy things who don't know about Amazon. It's the world's largest online retailer, manufacturer of electrical book readers. We can just say manufacturer and web service provider. It has become the iconic example of electronic co commerce industry all over the world. I usually buy school supplies and I don't even have to look anywhere else. The best thing is that it only takes me about five to seven minutes to finish the whole process of finding my school supplies and paying for it. Well, what I really like about Amazon is that the website actually allows its customers to personalize and filter the product information based on the customer's taste and preference. Besides, I'm very impressed with the way the website organizes its navigational features. It is designed and built in such a simplified manner that the customer don't feel lost when searching for their products. Okay. So you will just uh, you will just go through this again next time and just make sure you remember what you need to say, okay? Okay, let's go to you. You did very well. Remember, you remembered very well. Uh, let's just move this along. Okay. Part three. Shopping online. Test two, part three. Example questions. What kinds of things do people in your country often buy from online shops? Okay, what kinds of things do people in your country often buy from online shops? My country, 
countries, people prefer to buy something such as uh, clothing or their food waste um, and uh, daily equipment uh -huh. or some, some tool, tool for their work. Okay. Okay, let's have a look here. Um, let's start. Uh, okay, let's do the first one first, and then we'll come to the culture. Let's do this one first. Uh, let's see if I can make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Uh, with the increasing popularity, popularity of online shopping among all kinds of customers, no wonder that many people in my country are also taking its advantages, especially during this time of the pandemic. Um, people order food, medicines, and regular grocery items. Other can other than these things, people are uh, using online shops also to buy electronic devices, home appliances, uh, clo clo hang on, clothing, clothing items, cosmetics, perfumes, computers, you can just name a few. Um, uh, you can say, mo we can say smartphones and fashionable items from watches to sunglasses and every other thing in between or lots more. Okay, with the increasing popularity of the online shopping among all kinds of customers, no wonder that many people in my country are also taking its advantages, especially during this time of the pandemic. People order food, medicine, and regularly groceries um, items and regular grocery items. Other than these things, people are using online shops uh, also to buy. And now you can say it in any order. Electronic devices, home applies, smartphones, computers, clothes, cosmetics, fashionable items, and everything else in between or everything or and much more. Okay, so you can say other things in between or you can say and much more. So this is a quite easy answer. You just say, um, with the increasing popularity of the online shopping um, amongst all customers, everybody's taking the advantage, especially during this pandemic. People order food, medicine, and uh, groceries, other than um, smartwatches, uh, cosmetics, perfumes, clothes, sneakers, or footwear. Um, and everything else in between or much more. Okay, that's just a sample answer for you. Okay, let's have a look at number two. Why do you think online shopping has become so popular nowadays? Things uh, is become very popular. Nowadays, 
uh, because of its convenience uh, you can buy exactly what what you need and uh, when you buy online you have a lot of option to choose um, uh, and don't limit the numbers of the product uh, uh, okay. um online shopping has become popular all over the world nowadays for several reasons several reasons number one uh we can say uh firstly um online shopping saves our time and energy since we don't have to run to a physical store deal with the crowd crowds and stand in lines to buy things um, another reason is that it offers a wide range of options in choosing a product and price comparison comparison before actually buying a product um, besides the fear of being infect infected by the recent COVID-19 virus while going outside to do the shopping also has made online shopping popular these days. And remember, if you buy online, you can read customers' review. So if you buy on Amazon or take a lot or any clothing shop, some of them have reviews. So you can read about the customer review before you buy it. So now you have to choose between this one and this one. Now you read the reviews on this one. No, it's not so good. This one is a hundred bucks more, but the reviews are excellent. So I'll rather buy this one. But if you are in the shop, physically in the shop, there's no reviews. It hangs on the, or it's on the shelves. So you can't see what it actually, what people think about it. So when you go and buy it online, you can read reviews and see if it's a good product or not. Online shopping has become popular all over the world nowadays for several reasons. Firstly, only shop, online shopping saves our time and energy since we don't have to run to a physical store, deal with the crowds and stand in line to buy things. Another reason is that if other, if offers, uh, another reason is that it offers a wide range of options in choosing a product and price comparison before actually buying a product. Besides the fear of being infected by the recent COVID-19 virus while going outside, outside to do the shopping also has made online shopping popular these days. Okay. And the last one here, now let me put it. I'm going to do this and this. I don't want to go through your where we are typing. Uh, what are some possible disadvantages of buying things online? What do you think the disadvantage could be? Mm, I think uh, some, some products may be they are, they, they made, uh, during the transportation. Uh, that's it, not very safe. Uh, 
um, and then uh, about some people who want to buy fashionable items they don't they can't know the real size of mm -hmm. these items mm -hmm. so it maybe can oversize mm -hmm. yes yes wear them. You can't fit them on first. You have to buy them just like that. And sometimes the color isn't the right color. Sometimes it shows like a blue. And when it comes to you, it's like a light greenish color. Sometimes it shows like a, a red. When it comes to you, it looks pink. So sometimes the color isn't right. The quality of the clothes isn't good. Maybe it tears in the first washing machine. When it washes, it tears um the size isn't good so there's lots of dis disadvantages uh there are several disadvantages to buying things from online stores or shops the major one the major one is probably the delivery as most of the time delivery doesn't uh, arrive on time and even if it arrives on time the product um, gets damaged so it can get damaged then, of course, the price of the product is also an issue, an issue um, as it gets higher because of the adding, because of being the shipping charge with it. Finally, um, there are also the chance of um, the product being being inferior in quality um, to the product that is shown on the website. Several disadvantages to buying things from online shopping. The major one is probably the delivery as most of the times delivery doesn't arrive on time. And even if it arrives on time, the product gets damaged. Then of course the price of the product is also an issue as it gets, as it gets higher because of adding the shipping charge with it. Finally, there are also the chance of the product being inferior in quality to the product that is shown on the website. Inferior means it's not the same product. Um, let me just see here. Okay, let me take up here. I suck. Hello, Tito. And how are you today? I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm good, thank you. Okay. Now, uh, men, let's see here. Uh, number one, what kinds of things do people in your country often buy from online shops? Mm. There's an increased popularity of online shopping amongst all kinds of customers. No wonder that many people in my countries are also taking its advantage. Especially during this time of the pandemic, people order food, medicines, and regular groceries items. Other than this thing, people are using online shops also to buy electronic devices, home appliances, clothing items, domestic, perfume, computers, smartphones, fashionable items from watches to sunglasses and very other things in between. 
Why do you think online shopping has become so popular nowadays? Sof, you can just read what we typed. Why do you think online shopping has become a pop so popular nowadays? Um, online shopping has become popular all over the world now nowadays for several reasons. Firstly, online shopping saves our time and energy. Since uh, we don't have to run to to a fiscal store deal, deal with the crowds and stand in line to buy things. Another reason is that it offer a wide range of options in choosing a product and bright comparison before actually buying a product besides the fear of building in fact by the recent um, COVID-19 virus while going outside to do the shopping also have made online shopping popular these days. Okay. What are some possible disadvantages of buying things online, man? There are several disadvantages to buying things from online shop. The major one is probably the deliveries as most of the time. Deliveries doesn't arrive on time. And it, even if it's arrival on time, the products get damaged. Then, of course, the price of the products is also an issue as it gets higher because of adding shipping charges with it. Finally, there's also a chance of the products being inferior, inferior. inferior in quality to the product that is shown on the website. Yes, inferior means it's not the same quality. It's a bad quality. The inferior in the quality. It's a dis. It does. Um, it um, it's like a bad quality. Um, now sometimes when you order things on delivery men, um, on on the sh online shops, does it actually come on time or is it usually late? I, I have to go to school, so they can't, they can't see on time. Uh, but, but, but what about your mom? Can they not deliver at your mom's work? Is, uh, say, they are always on time. They are always on time, yes. So when I deliver online, I actually, I actually uh, when I buy online, I shopped online uh on friday today is monday on friday i ordered something online and they said that they will deliver it by wednesday that's that's now in two days time but today i got a message saying that they will deliver by tomorrow so they are a whole day early which is good so sometimes it can be good because they are early other days um it's not good because now you are at home and or you are away and you you make sure you're at home that time and then you aren't because they deliver earlier okay so sock you can just see here what your teacher is saying okay your teacher is saying you're going to learn on a different time because the the, the lesson has been already halfway through okay so sock you're going to learn on a yes. different time just ask your teacher when my sweetie all right Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's practice number two. Why do you think online shopping has become so popular nowadays? Online shopping has become popular all, all over the world nowadays for several reasons. Firstly, online shopping saves our time and energy since we don't have to run to a physical store. Deal with the crowds and than in life to buy things. Another reason is that it offers a wide range of options in choosing the products and price. 
comparison before actually buying a product. Besides the fear of being affected by the recent COVID-19 virus while going outside to go to the shopping, also had made online shopping popular this day. And tell me, um, what kinds of things do people in your country often buy from online shops? With the increasing popularity of online shops among all kinds of customers, no wonder that many people in my countries are also buying, are also taking its advantage, especially during this time of the pandemic. People order food, medicine, and regular grocery items. Other than these things, people are using online shops also to buy electronic devices, home appliances, clothing items, domestic perfume, computers, smartphones, and fashionable items from watches to the sunglasses, and every other thing in between. Okay, you can say it like this or you can make it your own. You can say with the increasing popularity of online shopping amongst all kinds of customers, no wonder that many people in our country take the advantage, especially during this time of the pandemic or especially during COVID-19. People order food, medicine and uh, grocery items. Other than these things, people also order or use online shops for or to buy. And now you can say it in any order. Phones, chairs, shoes, um, watches, makeup. Makeup is cosmetics. Shampoos, that's also cosmetic. Um, paper, pens, anything, stationery, anything. And then you can say, um, plus every other thing or plus so many more or and so many more so you can just say as many as you want and then at the end you just say other than uh, an um, other thing in every other thing in between or you can say um and lots more what are some possible disadvantages of buying things from the online shops there are several disadvantages to buy things from online shops. The major one is probably the deliveries most of the time. Deliveries doesn't arrive on time, and even if it arrives on time, the product gets damaged. Then, of course, the price of the product is also an issue, and it gets higher because of adding the shipping charge with it. Finally, there are also a chance of the products being inferior in qualities to the product that is shown on the website. Good. What kinds of things do people in your country often buy from online shops? With the increasing popularity of online shop, shopping among all kinds of customers, no wonder that many people in my countries are uh, also taking is the advantage. It advantage, especially during this time of the pandemic, people order food, medicine, and regular grocery item. Other than this thing, people also buy some uh, home appliances, fashionable items, smartphones, and school supplies, and many more. Okay. Um, why do you think online shopping has become so popular nowadays? Online shopping has become popular all over the world nowadays for several reasons. Firstly, online shopping saves our time and energy since we don't have to run to a physical store. Do with the crowd and stand in line to buy things. Another reason is another reason is that it offers a wide range of options in choosing a product and price comparison before actually buying a product. Uh, besides the fears of being affected by the recent COVID-19 virus, uh, while going outside to do the shopping also has made online shopping more popular this day. What are 
what are some possible disadvantages of buying online? There are several disadvantages to buy things from online shop. The major one is the properly the, the major one is properly the deliveries at most of the time. Deliveries doesn't arrive on time, and it and even if it arrives on time, the product gets damaged. Then, of course, the price of the product is also an issue as it gets higher because of the adding ship, shipping charge with it. Finally, there are also a chance of the products being inferior in qualities to the product that is shown on the website. Arrive. Okay, it's a silent E, not arriver. Arrive. It's a silent E, okay? Delivery doesn't arrive on time. It's not arrive. It's arrive. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Let's carry on. Do the culture of consumerism. Why do many people today keep buying things which they do not need? Okay, let's type this one. Why do you think so many people buy things which they don't need? Do you think buying became easier because it's online? So now they buy things that they don't need just because they see it's cheap. Um, okay. Why do many people today keep buying things they do not need? Well, people like to um, attribute different reasons to the culture of consumerism. But the major ones could be summarized like these. Um, we think that possessing more and more things will make us feel uh, more secure and happy in life. So people go online and now say, for example, I want a t-shirt. But now I feel I'm insecure. I don't think a lot about myself. I think I'm not as clever, not as rich, not as pretty, not as beautiful, not as successful. Now I think, no, let me buy a pants and some shoes and a cap. Now I look smart. I look fine. Now I feel better about myself. Now I feel more secure and happy because I'm buying more things now. So I feel okay. But I didn't need all those things. I only needed a t-shirt. That's why I'm buying more and more because I want to feel better about myself. Then we try to impress other people or want to feel more important in front of others with the things that we own. And finally, we in general are more susceptible to the advertisements on the media and their catchy messages than we like to believe. So then we try to impress other people or want to feel more important in front of others with the things that we own. And finally, we in general are more susceptible to the advertisements on the media. Uh, and their catchy messages than we like to believe. So their messages will say, oh, if you buy three, you get the cheapest one free. And then you think, oh, that's good. That's a good price. Or they will say, um, it was 800 bucks. Now it's only 300. 
No, it was never 800. It was always 300. Now they trick you. There's lots of advertising tricks that they try and trick you so that you can buy their products. Do you believe the benefits of a consumer outweigh the disadvantages? Now there's lots of disadvantages, but do you believe the benefits of a consumer society outweigh the disadvantages? Um, it's a tough question, but let's see if we can do it. Maybe we can do number one and two only today. Okay, well, it is a tough question to answer as there is no conclusive research data or evidence to simply say yes or no. But when we look at our society, societies which seem to have become more, uh, become happier with their works and lifestyles. It is really hard to suggest that consumerism trend has many disadvantages. Okay, besides, given the fact that the culture of consumerism of consumerism has resulted in more international commerce and communication among people from different parts of the world. Um, it also suggests that it has many benefits. On the other hand, the way people have become materialistic that means and self-centered um, and the way the gap between the rich and poor has widened makes it hard to say that this trend only has positive effects. I think that's enough. Let me just take it a little bit down. Okay, well, it is a tough question to answer as there is not conclusive research data. Okay, can you read the second one for me? Okay. Well, it's a tough question to answer and there is not conclusive research data or evidence to simply say yes or no. To simply, but simply say sim yes or no. Simply, simply say yes or no. But when we look at our societies, we seem to have become happier with their work and lifestyle. It's really hard to suggest that consum consumerism. Consumerism? Trend has many disadvantages. Besides, given the fact that the cultural of consumerism has the result in more inter international commerce and communication among people from different parts of the world, it's also suggests that it has many benefits. On the other hand, the way people have become material. Last listic 
self-centered. Self-centered. And the way the gap between the rich and the and poor has widened. 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 Like it has to say that this trend only has positive effect. Positive effects. Okay, let me move this one here. Uh, okay. So this one here and the last one we will do down here. Okay, uh, how possible is it to avoid the culture of consumerism? Consumerism is to buy, to consume, to buy things. Okay, how possible is it to avoid it? In my humble opinion, in this age, of international trade and commerce, it is almost difficult to avoid the culture of consumerism because we have become so much used to the luxury and comfort of life after all it is mostly encourages uh, after all it is mostly a cult culture um, of cons of consumerism consumerism, um, which uh, encourages us to become more productive in our life, which in turn makes sure that people have food on their tables, houses to live in, and clothes to wear. We have to have some kinds of genuine hopes to survive in this world. And the culture of consumerism does just that. Okay, let's read number three. In human opinion. Sorry, human wait, 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 wait. Let me just. Okay, okay, sorry, yes. In my humble opinion, uh, in this age of international trade and commerce, it is almost difficult to address the culture of consumerism because we have become so much used to the luxury and comfort of life. After all, it is mostly the culture of consumerism which encourage us to become more productive in our life. We, in turn, make sure that People have food on their tables, house to live in, and clothes to wear. We have to, we have to have some kinds of genuine, genuine, genuine hopes. The new hope to survive, to survive in this world, and the cultural of consumerism does the that. Okay, let's read it one more time. Uh, in, in my humble opinion, in this age of international trade and commerce, it is almost difficult to address the culture of consumerism because we have to, because we have some, we have some become so much used to the luxury and comforts of life. After all, it is mostly the culture of consumerism which encourages us to become more productive in our life. 
we in turn make sure that people have food on their tables, house to live in, and clothes to wear. Clothes. We have clothes. Clothes, clothes. to clothes to wear. We have to have some kinds of genuine hope to survive in this world. To survive. The, to survive in this world. And the cultural uh, consumerism the disaster. Yes, good. Okay. Let's read number one. Why do many people today keep buying things which they do not need? People like to attitude different reason to the cultural uh, consumerism. But the major ones could be summarized like this. We think that processing more and more things will make us feel more secure and happy in life. Then we try to impress other people or want to feel more important in front of others with the things that we own. And finally, we, we in general are more susceptible. susceptible. So, acceptable to advisement on the media and their party messages than we like to believe. Do you believe the benefits of a consumer society outweigh the disadvantages? Uh, well, it is a tough question to answer as there is not conclusive research data or evidence to simply 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 yes simply to say yes or no. But when we look at our societies, we seem to have become happier with their work and lifestyle. It's really hard to suggest that consumerism change has many disadvantages. Besides, given the fact that the cultural of consumerism has resulted in the international commerce and communication among people from different parts of the world. It also suggests that it has many benefits. On the other hand, the, the way people have become materialistic and self-concentered and the ways the gap between the rich and poor had widened uh, make it hard to say that the chain only has positive effect. Good. Okay. All right, sweetie, we're going to stop here. You did a good job today. I'm going to see you next time and try and practice these answers, okay? All right. I'll see you next time. And bye. Bye. Bye.